What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today I'm going to be doing a Discord video once again. You guys already know Discord is kind of like my thing. So I'm going to be showing you some of the um, cool things about Discord. And the topic for today's video is how to have a Discord bot moderate chats for you. Okay, so you guys are probably thinking, Burrito, I already have staff for my server. Why would I need a bot? Well, this bot helps you when your staff aren't on. Luckily for me, I have the best staff in the world and I have staff on at all times. But I'm gonna be showing you, we're queuing back into the test server. You need to download the bot Me6. So if we go onto the interweb and we type in Me6, what we're gonna do is you can go to um, top.gg and you can um, invite it to your Discord server and it gives you options on which server you want to invite it to. And then, um, you just authorize your account and that's about it. But if we go to um, Me6's website, Me6.xyz, you press add to Discord and you're gonna add it to one of the servers that you have. So uh, obviously I don't need it to add, add it to this server because I already have it. So you go to go to dashboard. So what you're gonna wanna do is obviously go to the moderator because we, we want someone to moderate chats for us. So we go to the moderator, yes, enable the plugin. And now what you want to do is you can add moderator rules. Users with one of these rules are considered your server moderators are not affected by auto moderator and are also immune to moderator commands. So uh, what we're gonna do is give it the mod rule and admin and owner, okay? Because all three of those are uh, typically staff and above staff. Now, um, logging channel, we're gonna want to make an audit log because um, I'll just show you what that means. So we're gonna save it. And if you go back to Discord and we go to UGL, if you look right here, audit logs, you'll get a notification. If you aren't on do not disturb like I am, as you can see my cursor down here, I'm on do not disturb. Um, if you don't have that role, then you're gonna get notifications a lot. So if you don't wanna be on do not disturb, then forget about this part. But if you uh, don't care about notifications or you don't mind being on di Do Not Disturb, then I recommend you make an audit logs text channel. So audit logs just tell you um, if you have a, um, like for me, I have server stats, but this works if you don't have server stats. It tells you how many people are in your server. Um, it tells you if it warned anyone. So it warned YT, my username, this. Uh, me6 warned him for posting a link, and that was the link. So, um, it also tells you if people added rules, like someone verified themselves and someone was banned. So that's what the audit logs tell you. It tells you a little bit more than Discord's um, actual audit log right here. So it tells you a little bit more than that. I know that it said streamer mode enabled, guys, uh, but yeah. So if we go to test server, we're gonna um, make a text channel called audit logs, create the channel and it's right there. So we're gonna obviously add the permissions and you can see the video links in the description on how to add uh, permissions to a text channel. So we're gonna make it owner, admin and mod and then at everyone cannot read or send messages. Perfect. All right, so now we have our audit logs channel. We're gonna go back to the interweb and please select the channel. It'll be audit logs for right now. Now we're gonna um, authorize. So that's me, test server audit logs, uh, audit logs and uh, we're gonna save it. So um, obviously we don't have premium, but if you do have premium, um, if you guys want me to do a video of me reviewing me six with premium, smash the like button. So. Um, if I get over 10 likes, I'll know that uh, I should make a video reviewing Me6 Premium, the pros and cons. So, yeah. Um, now, so what we're gonna do is, this is pretty much the audit log. So the moderator, right now I'm doing the audit log and then auto moderator is next. So I'll just focus on audit log. So the audit log is gonna tell me if someone changed their nickname, if someone left, if someone was unbanned, someone was banned, joined. You know, I don't care about user updated, so that's fine. So that's all I need to know for that. So these are all the notifications. So it's all your preference. I'm just showing you what my preference is and you guys can copy that off me if you would like. 
Um, so it's going to tell me if any of these happen. It's going to tell me if someone's rules changed, if a role was created, if a role was updated, or if a role was deleted, which I like. Voice channels, I don't care about that. Uh, that's just a little bit too much for me. Server events, if server is edited, then I do care because I'm the owner and I want to see if anyone edited it. I don't care about emojis. Channel events, if a channel was created, I want to know. And if a channel was deleted, I want to know. I don't really care about if perms were um, updated. And now um, it's going to tell me, let's say, um, for instance, if I had member joined voice channel on, all right, and I don't, let's say I wanted to know if anyone joined a voice channel, but if I'm always in the, um, I guess it doesn't tell you. These messages will be ignored. Huh. I thought, never mind. Audit log channel, welcome. If someone, let's say, so perfect example, let's say I had premium. If someone deleted a message and I was focusing on the, um, the general chat all the time, and I would know if someone deleted a message, I could, I could ignore this channel, so I don't get repeated and redundant messages of if a message was deleted. Just so you know. Um, do not log actions made by bots. I have that turned on because typically I don't care at all what a bot does. I already gave it permissions to do what it does. Now this is the auto moderator. So this is me six's settings. So I usually have everything turned on. So if someone says bad words, I delete the message and warn the member because I have a family friendly discord server. If someone repeats a text, I'm gonna delete the message and warn the member. Usually repeated texts are if someone is spamming their, uh, if someone is spamming at all, I just delete it. Server invites, obviously delete because why would I want someone to promote their server in mine? That's just stupid. External links, delete and warn member. So no matter what, I'm gonna warn the member. And it's just a matter if I wanna delete the message or not. So far I've done both. External links can be like YouTube videos, which obviously don't want, like someone can, link their YouTube video or their link, uh, channel. I don't like when people do all caps. Excessive emojis, I just warn them. Excessive spoilers, I don't, no one really spoils things. Mentions, definitely delete the message and warn the member. And then Zalgo, uh, I just have disabled because I don't really mind. Now, um, so uh, I'm just gonna give you some examples of each one. Bad words, just if someone says a bad word. Repeated text, if someone spams, Server invites if someone is inviting someone to your server and if someone does your YouTube channel. But now what I'm gonna show you is um, some channels that you might want to uh, ignore. So server invites, ignored channels. We probably want the self-promote channel to be ignored. In this server, I don't have a self-promote channel, but let's say I had, let's just make, um, we'll make a self-promote channel and I can show you guys self-promote. And then I'll bring that up right there, or right here. There we go. Now, um, let's just make it look a little better. Um, we're gonna, while we're at it, get a roll. All right, sorry. There we go. All right, um, now for voice channels, I'm just gonna make a rhythm bot. Even though I don't have the rhythm bot um, in my server. Rhythm bot is just a music bot, by the way, if you guys were wondering. Can I not? Okay. So Rhythm Bot is just a music bot and usually people will post links to YouTube videos that uh, happen to be like music videos or stuff like that. So just so you know, and it'll make more sense in a bit. So um, this is auto, okay. So auto moderator server invites, obviously we want to ignore the self promote channel because people are gonna be promoting their, um, their servers. External links, I'm probably gonna want to ignore the self-remote because people could promote their uh, YouTube channels and rhythm bot because they're gonna prim they're gonna use YouTube videos to um, play music. So that's about the only things that you need to do. Auto moderator rules, auto, auto moderator ignores and doesn't affect other bots. So obviously I'm gonna have that turned on because if a bot needs to do something, then a bot needs to do it, I don't mind. And then um, allowed actions, you can have these, um, like if, if you want the uh, bot to auto 
like mute kick ban, temp mute, or temp ban automatically, you can have that, which uh, we already have. And then you can add a lot of them, which you don't need to obviously because that's repetitive. And then you can have all of these clicked on if you want. So let's say you do exclamation point ban um, at burrito, then he's gonna get banned. So that was just a quick review and tutorial on how to use Me6's moderator. If you guys want me to upgrade to premium and show you what it uh, is, then I'll show you guys. It comes with all of these little perks and then I think that'll be a cool video because not a lot of people know what it is. So uh, just let me know if you guys want to know. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like the video. If you check on the screen right now, you'll see uh, not many of you guys are subscribing when I make these videos. And I do actually put a lot of uh, work into it. It may not seem like it, but I do edit all of my videos on Adobe. So um, I would really appreciate if you guys could at least hit the subscribe button. It's just one click away. And um, obviously hit, hit the like button. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which is a big goal for me. It's uh, getting monetized on YouTube. So I really hope you guys can help me out with that and influence my dream of being a YouTuber. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you um, thought it was informational, make sure to share it with your friends. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. This is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge. And I hope you guys have an ultimate day. See you later.